Okay, so today we're going to do a, a review, I guess you could call it, on the Phosphate RX. Um, I've been battling Phosphates now for some time. I have a heavily stocked aquarium. Um, we're going to give this a shot. Everybody seems to think this is the greatest stuff ever. Um, it's made my blue vet, so let's give it a try and see how it works. So the first thing they want you to do is they want you to test your your phosphates in your aquarium. Okay, so we're going to take a water sample. Like I said we're using the Hanna phosphate checker. Okay, so we're getting close here. Let's see what we end up with. Tested a bit a week ago when they're at 0 0.39. And they're not far off today. They're 0 0.37 as you can see. So on the instructions of the Phosphate RX, it says to lower it by 0 0.50. It's six drops per 10 gallons. So let's take this stuff over and dump some in the tank and see what we end up with. Okay, so here we are in the sump room. These guys always like to say hi in the frag tank. But over here to the sump, and two skimmers. So the figures out to being about 18 drops, or sorry, 180 drops of the phosphate RX. I'm a little cautious on dropping that much in the tank I think I'll just drop about a hundred maybe 120 drops in and see what the results are from there so let's start dropping some in okay so I put in 120 drops as you can see the water's turning cloudy really milky looking can't see from there but a little bit of a video there so, let's hope nothing happened that's bad, but a little shot in here of my black and white crowns. Totally off subject, but they've laid eggs. You can see them in the bottom left. And let's go check out the display tank. The lights are getting dim on it anyways, but definitely looking cloudy we'll update it tomorrow afternoon I'll let it sit for 24 hours and then we'll test the phosphates again and we'll let you know all right talk to you later bye okay so it's been 24 hours the tank has cleared Everything seems to be out as normal. Uh, 
to something. That one's cleared. Skimmer is looking a little more white, sludgy looking than normal. Okay, so let's take a water sample and we'll test it and see where we're at. Okay, so we got our water sample. Let's give it a test. I'm gonna give it a good shake just to make sure there's no little particles left in there. I like to also invert it slowly after I'm done to kind of get rid of the air bubbles caused by the vigorous shaking. So as you can see, it's ready to go in. Okay, so we're getting close here. Let's see what the results are. Point one five. It's down almost half. Would like to see it hit a little bit lower. Mind you, I didn't do the recommended dosage either. So maybe what we'll do is we'll wait another 24 hours and test again and see if the phosphates raise or drop even farther. Okay, so in conclusion, the RX, phosphate RX I should say, knocked the phosphates down over half in less than 24 hours i think i like the fact that it dropped it down not as drastic as i was thinking it was going to um, i guess time will tell the next few days after i test to see if the phosphates rise or if, if they continue to fall um, I'll, I'll, po I'll post a couple updates in the next few days so let me know what you guys think Day three.
21 day fix. We just launched a beta trial of our new digital video platform, Beachbody On Demand. So while we're testing out this new digital video service, I'm inviting you to use it for free. Everything's looking good, all but my clam. You can see it's gone. It's dead. I had the clam for almost a year. So something with the phosphate RX has definitely killed that clam. Let's test and see what our results are now for the phosphate in the tank. Okay, so we're back testing for the phosphate after using the phosphate RX. Started it on Tuesday. It is now Sunday. We had a spike in the, the phosphates on Thursday. It went up to 0.28. It's now 0.22. So that's up a little bit from yesterday. I'm not surprised. I left the clam in there. It's dead. The phosphate RX has dropped my phosphate down. But in the meantime, it has also killed my clam. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe and I'll keep you updated on how the phosphate RX is going to last long term. I've always battled phosphates in this aquarium whether it leaches from live rock or whatever I used to have a heavily stocked fish only tank so I've always been battling phosphates this is as low as my phosphates have ever went but uh, hopefully they will continue to get lower and lower I do like the phosphate RX although I do not like what it did to my clam obviously um, but sometimes things just happen. It is what it is. Uh, thanks for watching. And be, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks again. Bye.